Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Uh, hope everyone had a good Monday. Gonna do a little something off key here. Um, I opened some of this product before on the channel, but it wasn't wasn't kind of sealed. It's kind of older stuff, uh, repacks. But uh, wife and I went to Target over the weekend, uh, run some errands type stuff, and I think our area is starting to get better as far as supply and cards. Um, they did have, uh, Target did have a couple of uh, sets of 2021 Topps Baseball, um, mostly blue. I saw one, one purple with the um, random refractor in it. Um, there was also a lot of hockey, young guns, and some blasters, upper deck hung up. So we're kind of kind of seeing a, uh, a turnaround. Um, still a limit to purchase course um and there was one gravity feed of um score select i think it's score select football um I, not really in full mode engaged hockey wise um now that football started and baseball playoffs have come around i still wanted to crack some either basketball or or, or football or baseball mainly baseball um but not really fully invested in the hockey season just yet. Haven't seen uh, any preseason uh, to get the juices going. So I, I left the the hockey on the shelf. Um, but I did snag um, some of this. And uh, yeah, this is my secondary hobby. Um, mostly uh, for just storing and binders and appreciating the art of it. Um, like I said in my previous video, if you saw any of my magic videos um, of that thousand card box repack from Amazon, I, um, I do collect, but I collect mostly for the art and for sets that I really like um, certain aspects of, mostly vampires, angels, things of that nature. Um, but this was, this is cool. Um, as you know, I do uh, watch Alpha Investments, Rudy from Alpha Investments, and he opened up um, some a collector's box of the Dungeons and Dragons. Yes, I know these aren't part of the collector's box because I'm just not spending twenty seven dollars on a pack. Uh, it's just me when I can spend twenty bucks on five different packs and maybe pull something cool, maybe not. Um, but at least it'll be a variety that I can add and uh, to the already you know set up binder that I do have. So there is these the 15 15 card draft boosters and then the 12 card draft boosters um like i said I'm, I'm a noob i know how to set up decks play simple games of magic i don't know the difference between the 12 and 15 i didn't research before starting this video either um the these were 419 a pack the 15 card but the 12 card was 519 a pack so i'm, I'm not sure the difference uh, i'm my only guess is that uh, you, there's a better chance at rare cards in the 12 versus the 15. Um, but I don't know. There's maybe card exclusivity or something like that for the packs. But I decided to go with quantity, I guess, over quality. So hoping to catch a few of the, the, the basic cards that I saw that Rudy, Rudy pulled from his packs. Uh, this is nice. Innistrad. I'm glad to see this return. Uh, I was a big fan of... Uh, Innistrad, um, when it was way, you know, I, don't know, I don't know what year it was out, 2016, 2017, something like that. Um, and then they had one pack of Zendikar, so we'll go ahead and open it, Zendikar, Innistrad, and then um, the Dungeon and Dragons is saved for for last. Um, I'm, like I said, I was very excited to see uh, Innistrad, because I love that, and uh, Eldritch Moon, I believe, is really my, my favorite set of all time. So, I don't know if there's an easier way to do this. Kind of rip through it. So, security devices in that bad boy. So, let's we'll get right into it. Um, don't really know the poles or, or what's, you know, really amazing, not amazing. Um, Besides, you know, knowing that a mythic is a really good card to pull. So, 
I like getting the equipment, the artifacts, that's cool. Scavenge blade. So I'll rip through some of these commons. Chilling trap. Smite the monstrous. Adventure awaits. That's kind of cool. Good, we're all here. Let's get started. That's nice. Alright, still on the comments here. Hacker constrictor. King Guy's Mage. Skyclay Sentinel. Vanquish the Weak. Uh, Risen Riptide. That's cool. Elemental Creature. Uh, Sizzling Barrage. Shatter Skull Minotaur. So we're in the Uncommons. So it should be three Uncommons. Pair Tactician. And then Bala Get at Recovery. And then I guess what's the rare? Alright, so the rare is Flindle Retreat. And it's the basic land island. So don't think it's a banger. But we'll see. I'll have to look it up, do some research. I'm just gonna do the uh cardboard off camera and then we'll rip the pack in front of the camera so next we're going to move into the uh Innistrad, the midnight hunt it's kind of goodies kind of come through here like i said i like the vampire angels theme um werewolf's not bad too i like playing white and black decks so uh rotten reunion pestilent wolf so I'm wondering if there's going to be any reprint. Oh, that's very, very epic. Look at that art. This is the type of stuff I like to see. That's why I like to put in a binder. Uh, Larder Zombie. Diagraph Horde. I want, and I also wonder, will these, uh, no, is it in this? No, Eldritch Moves is the one that had the flips, I think. Path to the Festival. It looks very cool, too. Cavity Trapper. Still in the commons here. Ardent Elementus. Dawnheart Rejuvenator. The Awakener. Foul Play. So we're in an uncommon, so it'll be three uncommons. Play with Fire. Infernal Grasp. And then Suspicious Stowaway. Oh, so this is nice. So this is, uh, a little variant, I guess. Human Rogue Werewolf. Um, it has the uh, different, I guess they call them storybook borders. Something like that. Oh, basically, look at the swamp on that. The black and white. Nice. Alright. So I like that. Very cool. So the token artifact is a clue. And then, what? You can use this card to represent a double face card. Oh, so there are, let's go through, flip, yeah, oh, so this one is the flip, here we go. So the rare is actually the flip, so it turns into a seafaring, were seafaring werewolf. Very nice, all right. All right, nice, so three more packs, we're going to go ahead and jump into the Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, same thing as before, I'll just rip the uh, cardboard off screen for you. And we'll go ahead and get into the pack. Alright, so. Hired a hex blade. That is very cool right there. Creature Elf Warlock. Ranger's Longbow. Very nice. Unexpected Windfall. Air Cult Elemental. The artwork is just amazing. Delver's Torch. Horde Robber. Bunch of Rogues. Frost Giant. Devour intellect. Look at that little brain. What in the hell? <laughs> Celestial unicorn. Very, very cool. 
nice artwork on that. So first uncommon is Druid Class. So this, you get your classes and then you go through the uh, dungeons. I think that's how Brudu was explaining it. Uh, yes. So Ray of Frost. Another uncommon. And then Purple Worm. And then, whoa, it's a full, here we go. Mythic Legendary Planeswalker. Very nice. Lola Spider Queen. Very nice. We end up getting a nice mythic out of it. No, uh, Wolf Token's pretty cool too. No idea if there's any, what kind of value it is. You know, a few bucks or something like that maybe. I don't, I don't know, I could be talking totally out of my ass and it could be like a $10 mythic, who knows. I mean, I know the days of like pulling to Lilith anymore, like from Eldridge Moon, like a 40 to 60 dollar banger is way gone uh, by the wayside, but. Right. So. So now tokens in the front? Oh, so it opened backwards. Here we go. All right, so common, price of loyalty, shocking grasp, metal armor, poor choice. Priest of Ancient Lore. Dwarf Clearing. Very cool. Yeah, so there'll be a lot of elves, a lot of dwarves, giants, dragons, things like that in nature. Things that you would think to see in a human druid. Wow. 1 to 9, you gain 1 life. 10 to 20. 10 to 19, you gain 2 life. Oh, wow. I've never seen that before. Um, so it's like that real Dungeons and Dragons type feel. Earth Cult Elemental. Sylvan Raven, that looks cool. Leather armor, a lot of equipment type stuff. Equipped creature gets it. So you equip these to your creatures and whatnot. Devour Intellect again. Evolving Wilds. Check for traps. It's the first uncommon. Guild Thief, Orc Rogue. Cool. White Dragon, all right, awesome. And our rare is the True Polymorph. Maybe a little too convincing. Nice island, and then yeah, here we go. Here's the the dungeons. Tomb of Annihilation with the uh, token legendary creature God Horror. That has Death Touch. Alright, so we're down to the last pack. This kind of uh, off key opening on the channel. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. So, token skeletons on the back. We might have another uh, dungeon, which is cool. So, inspiring Bard, Elf Bard. Price of loyalty again, polymorph, workins, so priest ancient lore again, these tools, that's awesome. So we got the fang blade again, um, why is this upside down? Huh, find cursed idol, common, spare dagger, come to a river, Lurking Roper, Monk Open Hand, Elf Monk, Purple Worm again, and then the rare will be White Zombie Soldier. And then, all right, nice. We got a foily, nice land cycle. Well, not a cycle, just a land, basic land, mountain foily. And a swampy. And then Lost Mine of Philander. So two different uh two different um I don't know what do you call them dungeons and uh uh one mythic out of it. So not bad. Uh yeah, I hope you uh like this kind of uh, off tilt thing. Might do it again uh if they do have more Dungeons and Dragons. 
Um, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how things play out. But just want to do this little offshoot and, um, yeah, share it with you guys. So hope you guys have a good night, rest of the week, and uh, see you in the next video.